The Senate has moved forward with a student loan access to higher education act bill, passing it for second reading. The legislative steps follows a request from President Bola Tinobu asking the Senate to annul the existing law and enact a new bill to address shortcomings in the student loan system. President Tinubu's correspondence to the Senate coincided with the announcement of a temporary suspension of the implementation of the student loan scheme, which aimed to provide interest-free loans to tertiary institution students to support their academic pursuits. Contributing to the debates during the plenary section, Senator Sani Musa proposed a novel approach to ensure the sustainability of the student loan fund. The implementation of the Higher Education Loan Scheme by addressing challenges relating to the management structure of the Nigerian Education Loan Fund, applicant eligibility requirements, loan purpose, funding sources, and disbursement. Mr. President and distinguished colleagues, the objectives of the bill are to one, provide loans to qualified Nigerians to pay tuition fees, charges, and upkeep during their course of study. If by the time we have this loan scheme become very effective, Nigerians will see why this scheme is more important than any other thing in putting a foundation for the growth of this country especially when it has to do with tertiary institutions where quite a number of research will be done and many innovations will be done. There is no better time to bring this than now. Bill for an act to repeal the Students' Loans Access to Higher Education Act 2023 and enact the Student Loans Access to Higher Education Bill 2024 to establish the Nigerian Education Loan Fund as a body corporate to receive, manage, and invest funds to provide loans to Nigerians for higher education, vocational training, and skills acquisition, and for related matters dealt with 2024. Second reading taken.